What's good, y'all? AJ Simmons checking in. And happy Sunday to y'all. We gonna start this week off right, y'all. I'm just now leaving the office, matter of fact. Just so you can see, I ain't... See that CBN sign up there? A little bit, there you go. All right, y'all, on this Saturday night, excuse me, Sunday night, rather. Getting ready to start a productive week this week. And I'm gonna tell y'all while I'm leaving this later, I'm gonna tell you what it is, it's because you don't start working when you when you're tired. You start working when you're done. And I had a to-do list that I said that I was gonna get done today. I came in on this Sunday, and uh, I already told myself I was gonna work this weekend anyway, cause uh, I'm on this little I'm on this little uh, challenge to myself. You know what I mean? I'm doing this little challenge to myself to where over the next 30 days I gotta do X amount of things. So I ain't going to detail what. Excuse me, but I'm grinding and I'm getting in. We stand on track. So anyway. Here's what I came to tell you, though. Exactly what I just did and what I just said is what you should be doing. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when the work is done, y'all. Some of y'all get into business and you think that, oh, now it's going to be easier. Now we can chill. Now I get to make my own schedule. Now everything's going to be cool and I'm just going to be rich, making passive income. That ain't it. That ain't it, y'all. I know y'all seen them ads with the people on the beach driving their Lamborghinis, telling y'all about how great it's going to be when you own your own business. That ain't what it is, y'all. Now, do you get certain moments? Absolutely. But I'm going to tell you now, business is ebbs and flows. Shit going to get real sometime, and other times it's going to be like, okay, you know what I mean? This, this is the life. I, I can't believe I ain't do this sooner. You know what I mean? But when it, when it get real, you always got to stay on track, though. You got to make sure you go that extra mile. You got to be willing. When it's grind season, it's grind season. You got to go all in. All right? And I told y'all about the routines. You stay in the routine, you'll definitely win. All right, but don't be don't like don't be scared to. Not I mean, put that extra work in. Don't think that just because you make your own schedule that means you just get to do what you want to do. Nah, you make your schedule, but you still got to do the work on the damn schedule though. <laughs> you know what I mean? See if I can turn this on until I get around some cars. But uh, like, I mean, like you still got to do the work. Like just because you get to make the schedule, don't mean that the schedule gonna be blank. It's a million things that you got to do. And then y'all should know, right? Because we, we clean builders. We the cleaning business people, right? Most A lot of y'all on my channel. And a lot of others started to uh, filter in as I started to talk about more general stuff. But, uh, like, y'all clean builders. Y'all done been out there late night. And you see the big ball still out there. Still in there. Only car in the parking lot. Still in there working. I don't know how many times I done seen that cleaning buildings. Last one in there. And why you think that is? Because we got so much to do, y'all. We the visionaries of the company. We the executives of the company. And nine times out of ten, if you built it from the ground up like I did, guess what? You got you the one who got to implement everything. Then you have somebody to show them how to do stuff. But for the most part, you know how to do everything in your damn company. And so a lot of times when stuff is off track or if you're trying to get implement something new or if you got to put together you know certain things only you're the one who know how to do it so first you got to implement it and then you can bring in other people to show them how to do it and so right now i'm in a phase right now where i'm in a uh i'm in a i'm in a period to where we have to slow down a bit back up uh polish our product our, our procedures you know what i mean fix a lot of things but make sure everything is good then we can take back off and go because what we don't want to do is we bring so many people into, you know, into your sales system, bring so many people into your funnel, bring so many people to, into your product or service, and then you're not capable of handling it. I said this plenty of times before. Imagine owning a, 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 a shoe company that but is online, right? A virtual shoe company, and you sell shoes out of your house and you ship them out. Imagine you go viral tomorrow and somebody placed an order for 100,000 pair of shoes and you used to only shipping out maybe 10 shoes a month. You ain't gonna know what the hell to do because you ain't even got a, a system in place to handle that type of order. So sometimes as business owners, we gotta slow down, step back and fix what we already got going on. A lot of times we always wanna go out and do more, do more, do something new, add to this, add to that. Sometimes you don't need to add on nothing. Sometimes you gotta slow down and fix what you already got going on. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm on, so that's why I'm having to put in these extra hours because it's little things I see in my business that I got to tweak in order for us to go forward. So we got to stop, fix some things, go back a little bit, and then go forward again. You know what I mean? And don't be scared to put in that extra time to do it. Because guess what? 
it's, it, that type of stuff, that's not uh, direct sales related. It's not directly uh, tied to sales. So therefore, you don't really want to do it. Because when we the entrepreneurs, we the money getters, right? We the go-getters. We just we get excited about the new things we can sell. But we ain't excited about the damn uh, standards, standard operating procedures that we got to put in place. Right, what we ain't excited about is taking the time to go build all the infrastructure and hire the people to make those and those ideas come true. You know what I mean? So, again, y'all, make sure you're willing to put in that extra work. If you can get that job eight hours, you can get your job, your business, twelve hours if you got to. And again, I don't work long hours. I, I'm here this late only because I came out later. I think I left the house probably what? I don't even remember what time I left the house. Probably like maybe one or two. You know what I mean? So I spent about five, six hours in the office a day. And that's typically how many hours I work a day. About six to eight hours every now and then it might be eight. But most of the time I'm about six hours a day. You know what I mean? And I probably work about four to five days a week. You know what I mean? And that's now. And usually, you know what I mean? On average for the past few years, I'm working three days a week, about six hours a day. But stepping it up right now. We got to go a little bit extra. You know what I mean? And extra don't mean from sun up to sun down for me because I already got so many systems in place. Uh, I guess if someone in the city, I cut this off. <clears throat> but it does mean that I got to work more than I'm used to working. It does mean that, okay, well, even if it ain't sun up to sun down, it's going to be consistent. I'm going to put in what I need to put in into that list that I made for that day is done. Make a to-do list every single day. And then I made sure that before I left just now, I wrote down tomorrow's list, so that way as soon as I get in there Monday morning, I ain't got to think about nothing. It's already there. I'm ready to go. Let's get to it. If you follow me on Instagram, which is at AJ Simmons Online, y'all should be following me there, right? And my stories, I'm always updating my stories. So make sure you check out my stories. Nothing but motivation there, right? But I just posted on my story how I just printed out my uh, routine for this week, and I always print two copies, one for me to go home and hang it up in my bathroom, right by the mirror so that way I can see it every morning when I'm brushing my teeth and then also want to keep that to office to keep me on track and then once I print it out I also match it and sync it up to my Google calendar to make sure they both saying the same thing but it's something about that physical paper that I just like to see and like to have it on track and I update it every single week and then on that on it it got the regular routine at the top and the schedule and at the bottom I got my to-do list and then I also have uh, notes on there like to point out certain things because like in my schedule I might have like it says uh, creative time. And so in the notes, I specify exactly what I should be doing during creative time. You know what I mean? Or certain parts of it might say off. So I specify, okay, well, when you're off, here's some things that you could do if you feel like doing something while doing your off time. You know what I mean? So let's stay on top of it, y'all. Don't be scared to put the extra work in. This is your dream. This is your vision. You asked for this shit. You signed up for this shit. You invested in this. Get to it then. Stay on it. Lock in. If you're scared, go to work. Quit this shit if you don't want to do it. But if you really to go all in on this shit, keep going, keep pushing, keep working, y'all. I'm AJ Simmons. And by the way, for anybody new here, if you're thinking about starting a company, I recommend starting a cleaning company. Why? Because the low investment is start, uh, required to get started with it. And there's extremely high upside. You can get as rich as you want to with a cleaning company. Straight like that. You ain't got to do nothing extra. You ain't got to do no side shit or none of that. A cleaning company alone will get you as rich as you need to be. Simple as that. So if you're interested, go to www.cleanbusinessnetwork.app. And then also, if you're already in the business and you need a network to grow with, you got a cleaning company, you want some guidance, you need a network, you need some software to help you put in some automation systems, go to cleanbusinessnetwork.app as well and join Clean Business Network. All right? Talk to y'all later. Thank y'all.